exercise 2.6 question 4 click here for the full exercise the sum of the first n terms of a certain series is given as 2n square minus 3n show that the series is an arithmetic progression so in this sum they have given us sn that is the sum of the first n terms it is equal to 2n square minus 3n okay let us now take tn to be the nth term so here let's write down tn is equal to sn that is the sum of the first n terms minus the sum of the first n minus 1 term is it not because n after n minus 1 you will get nth term so if we subtract the sum of the n terms minus the sum of the n minus 1 terms you will get the nth term okay let's do it write down sn 2n square minus 3n minus sn minus 1 in this you have to substitute n by n minus 1 let's put in place of n let's write down n minus 1 the whole square minus 3 into n minus 1 okay so here it is we have to simplify this open this bracket n minus 1 the whole square is n square minus 2n plus 1 open this bracket it is minus 3n plus 3 here again you have to open this bracket you will multiply each term with 2 and you will get like this again simplify it see minus 4n minus 3n is minus 7n 2 plus 3 is 5 so write it like this again when you open the bracket this will become minus 2n square minus into minus is plus 7n minus 5 2n square and minus 2n square will cancel 7n minus 3n is 4n minus 5 so tn that is the nth term is 4n minus 5 okay well, you have found out the nth term let's find out the first term put n is equal to 1 substitute you will get t1 first term is equal to minus 1 second term is 3 uh, third term again substitute n is equal to 3 you will get 7 fourth term is 11 now let us see, see what is the common difference t2 minus t1 is 4 t3 minus t2 is 4 even if you do t4 minus t3 it will be 4 11 minus 7 is 4 the common difference is 4 therefore the series is an arithmetic progression and the arithmetic progression is the first term minus 1 comma 3 comma 7 comma 11 dot dot